Welcome, Hook. SC Labs. So we usually start back here and then we'll kind of make our way through. This is our prep lab. Once samples enter into the prep lab, each sample will go through a process of being homogenized and then separated out to be extracted and diluted for the different tests we offer. Prep is really kind of the major work that happens in this laboratory. And then once samples are prepped, they'll come into one of our instrument laboratories right around the corner here. The main tools used to separate the compounds and mixtures are chromatography instruments. So there's high performance liquid chromatography and gas chromatography. HPLC is the ideal tool to test for potency, whereas for terpene content, GC is more of an ideal tool. So gas chromatography, which vaporizes a sample, and that's kind of the superior tool that we use to be able to test for terpene content and uh, other aromatics in cannabis. Then I'll show you the micro lab. This space and this space are our microbiology labs. This is where we'll kind of prep samples to do ultimately test for uh, viruses. All samples are prepped in this laminar flow hood to ensure sterile conditions, right? To make sure that there's no possibility of us contaminating it from the outside. We will use qPCR, quantitative polymerase chain reaction, to look for specific DNA. So it's more of a like surgical tool to look for specific species as opposed to plating, which is looking for more, more broad colonies. So then this is, this is the micro lab itself. We'll test for total yeast and mold levels, total aerobic bacteria levels, coli, salmonella, aspergillus. We work with folks to help minimize risks around kind of where different contaminants can enter their supply chain. We try to help them avoid ever having a fail. This is our heavy metal laboratory. California requirements established uh, testing for the four main toxic metals, uh, lead, mercury, cadmium, and uh, arsenic. Essentially, we're taking flour or an extract or a cartridge, and we'll put them in a compression tube, then we'll load them up in the microwave digesters, and it'll uh, digest any anything that we put into the lead we kind of more see, and some of the other metals we'll see kind of more related to uh, hardware, unvetted cartridges that might be leaching when flowers fail. It's typically an outdoor farm where dusting or dusting or wind or neighbors tilling their soil, stuff like that. Overall, we see about a three percent fail rate across all testing. So this is our mass spectrometry lab. In here is where a lot of the contaminant testing is done. There's 66 pesticides that are part of the California panel. Certain pesticides you have to test on GC mass spec. Other pesticides you have to test on LC mass spec. And there's these different compounds that you have to test on here in order to be able to see the range of pesticides that we'll test for. But yeah, mass specs are kind of like really, really sensitive detectors and able with them to d detect really trace levels of compounds. This one's different. This one's a GC headspace. So we'll have little like, you know, extract in there. The tubes will get dropped into this oven. It'll start heating up and different volatile organic compounds will evaporate and then sit as a gas. What is what we use to test for various residual solvents, processing chemicals, butane, acetone, methanol, acetonitrile. The end result is a chromatogram, which is as you see a line with these peaks, these different peaks correspond to different compounds. So we're like, oh, that's 10%, you know, THC or CBD, right? Last instrument I want to show you was, uh, it's like a smoking robot. I don't know if you ever saw South Park, but I like to call it Towley. We can take cartridges, we can load the cartridges up in these like artificial mouths. This will literally smoke it and capture the, the vapor that we then can run through the GC mass spec. We use this for different types of R&D projects, helping groups to validate the quality of their hardware and their the heating elements. Again, helping to influence, you know, kind of a lot, not only in people being able to develop products that are, that are impeccable and above reproach and you know kind of are cleaner than food and water in most areas of the country it's like we got to become hyper alert and aware of what we're putting into our body or on our body you know it's and i think it, it matters now more than ever